Okay, while I'm out here, I, I figured I'd go ahead and give you guys a, uh, a meat rabbit update. There's my big boy. He's doing good. He's still kind of shy. He's, he's just kind of like, you know, he's older. He's just kind of like over it. He's like, whatever, dude. Now, the kids down here on the end, um, they're, they're crazy as hell. I mean, especially the white one. He's nuts. He's always running around, but they're eating right now. They're nosy as they can be. What is it, white one? They're nosy as they can be. Happy as shit, eating. They go through quite a bit of straw and hay. They love water. If you're ever gonna do rabbits, I have to fill their water three, four times a day. I mean, they go through some water. Here's my pretty gray here. You wanna say hello? You're jumping all around. You wanna say hello? Huh? You wanna say hello to the people? Are you still scared of the camera? Hmm? But uh, they're doing good. They're doing good. There's my baby doll there. I love the color on this rabbit. Awesome. Nosy. But they're all doing good. Uh, pretty soon they'll be, uh, let's see, 9, 10. They're almost 12 weeks old. Got to wait till they're 16 weeks to breed them, minimum age. So I got about a month before I can breed them. So we're looking at the uh, beginning, probably the, the second week in June, just to be on the safe side. So we'll say uh, the second week of June. I will resect them, figure out which ones are definitely girls, which ones are definitely boys. The girls are going to get bred. Girl, if I only have one, should be a minimum of two. It was supposed to be three, so wish me luck. If it's a minimum of two, then I'll breed the two. Uh, if one of them is a male, then he will occupy the big cage in the cage that I'm building right now. I'm building another six bay cage just like this one. And this one here on the end, it's a little bit larger than the other five. That's why I put the big male in it. So if one of these is a male, he will occupy condo number one in the second cage. And then I will set up my two completely different uh, breeding families and start rocking and rolling with some killer rabbit meat. So you guys stay tuned for that. It's going to be awesome. I still got to do my build. And you see it's, it's uh, about 9 a.m. or so. Sun's coming up right there. But as you notice, my backyard is all woods, which is one of the reasons why I bought this house. It's uh, it's all woods, so look at all that shade right there for those rabbits. And everybody says it's hard to grow rabbits in the summertime, and it is. They hate the heat. But walking out of the sunshine where I just was into the shade right here, the temperature dropped about 15 degrees. So this is some pretty good flat. It's a pretty good and flat area right here. So I'm thinking right in here, is where I'm gonna set up the hutch, right along here. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, got plenty of shade up above us, so even in the super, super hot heat of the day in the summertime, look at this, how the shade just drops down. Oh yeah, here's gonna be perfect. Here's where I'm gonna put the rabbit hutches, the rabbit cages or whatever. And then back there's their little retirement community once I get it fenced in, so they'll get to retire in comfort and just run around and do whatever they wanna do. Unless somebody wants them as a pet, then I'll just adopt them out. Obviously, you you guys on YouTube, my subscribers, will get first dibs on the pets. But uh, there they are. All right. I'm going to get inside and get back to work on this uh, rabbit cage. I'll talk to you guys later.